Hey there, Internet Keeve here, and welcome to the Cars of Keeve YouTube channel. And in this video, we're going to create some nozzle guards. So if you don't know what a nozzle guard is, this is what you normally would see. That's a 40 degree nozzle, the white. These though are slightly different. Inside is that same kind of nozzle. And these are great because this can keep you from, uh, if it, you don't put it in properly and it shoots out of your gun, it's going to hit it with this rubbery silicone, right? This also allows you to get like inside of your reel wells around the tires without actually hitting your paint with anything other than some rubber. When it comes to nozzle protective guards, you have Obsessed Garage has a Mosmatic style one that they created. MTM has their Aqualine one. And then a, a website called Clean Garage has the same MTM, but it's much cheaper. I think the cheapest one is $29.99, but the Clean Garage site charges about $8.95 shipping. So around $37, $38. Obsessed Garage and Mosmatic were closer to $50, like between $47 and $50. So it's really beneficial for me to try to find a cheaper solution, even if it means putting it all together myself. So this is the Amazon version, and this is the nozzle that you use to rinse my car off for the deionization. That's why it's so big right there. But you can see this one, the nut is halfway in and out that actually comes with the unit itself. Then you add the quick disconnect at the bottom. So it kind of sits farther out, but it is much smaller. So Overall, it's more compact. It is pretty flexible. I got them torqued down pretty good. So I lay uh, the vice grip against here and then I just push down, flip this to the size we need. There we go, 11 16 17 millimeter. And then we use this on the inside. I got that one in there. So this is your most simple version. This is three pieces. Um, all of this is from Amazon. So with this one right here, there's really two ways to put this together. When you buy this, it's like $7 at MTM, but it already comes with this bolt in there already. And you can see it's 3 d to fit around the bolt, so it stays in there pretty good. But this piece right here is too long for the thread of a quick disconnect to uh, go into the bottom. Now you're gonna say, hey, why don't you just go ahead and drill this out, make this larger so this will fit through. The problem is, when this fits through and tight enough to not leak, the quick disconnect part goes too far in and it can't secure. Hitting it out, just like that. So you can see the actual true design of this is to take the pipe and it runs through perfectly. And it goes onto that bolt, like that. So I just did the exact same thing. I just got a really shorter version of this to make it a nozzle guard. I cannot find this on Amazon anywhere. I've seen it on some plumber supply stores on Google and I got this at Home Depot for like five, six dollars. Most of the other ones you see that have a thread on both sides, they have a bolt pattern in the middle that's just too wide for this opening. So now to the final version and this is really my pick for what I want. So unlike the other ones, this one's just kind of stuffed in there and that's how it works. Uh, there's really nothing screwed down or anything that keeps it held in. So I'm basically just putting my palm, push the fitting out. So there's your quarter inch quick disconnect that feeds into the female portion of this coupling, the female on the opposite side, and you have your male of the nozzle guard, and they're just torqued down. And I don't know if you can see in here, but these little ribs all throughout the inside, about halfway down on the inside, and then they have notches on the top. So when you push that bolt pattern past them, it catches the bolt and doesn't allow it to slide forward very easily. And all I do is take this, and I just push it as far as I can by hand, then I use the socket wrench since that bolt is only a very small portion of the coupling itself. I just hold this and push through with my socket. And there we go. And it's just enough to clear. You see we have 16th of an inch maybe separating. It's nice. And that's kind of nice, isn't it? It goes perfectly with this. Uh, it blows out at the end so you don't touch the uh, spray pattern. So I took the nozzle guard off of this. This is the 3.0, 40 degrees. Here's the PSI. Uh, but before it was about 1,000 to 1,100. See, we have a constant 1,100. As you can see, we're right at 1.75 gallons per minute, which is exactly what the white tip at 3.040 degrees was doing. So those are perfect. So this is the two-piece one. This has a 40 degree 
I was never able to find a 3.5. They're sold out, but uh, this at least gives the pressure. Uh, my current white tips at this would be about 800, 850 PSI. They were constant right at 800. Gals per minute with the 40 degree 40 before were close to two, like 1.9, 1.95. So you see we settled at about 1.85, 1.9 gallons per minute, which is pretty much in line with what we were doing before. Another thing with these tips is you can get further into the rear well without worrying about touching anything because this, you know, is rubber. So this piece right here from Amazon that has the quick disconnect on the bottom and the nozzle in the middle. Now most of these nozzles you can get for about nine to $10 for two. The same with the quick disconnects, $9 to $10 for two. And then this assembly with the bolt was about $9. So all in all, if you went by piece, you're at like $17 total for this unit right here. Now, if you wanted to include the cost that you had to buy two each and you only wanted to make not one nozzle, you're still under $30. Now with my orifices on my nozzles, I usually run a 3.5. Could not find a 3.5 anywhere that had the quarter inch connects to fit in one of these. Sucks. They have them at MTM's website, but the majority of all of the popular orifice sizes are all sold out. They're $4.99 each, great price, but there's just none available. So I found a set of three O's, they're $16, right? So if you wanted to use those with this, initially you have a cost of $16, but you have four different uh, nozzles. You have a zero degree, a 15 degree, 25 degree, and a 40 degree all available to switch out and use with this nozzle guard or create four different ones. So $16 plus $9 for this, I mean, then plus $9 for that, you're talking like close to like almost 40 bucks. Still, with shipping, just as cheap as anything that's out there. Isn't that crazy? So my favorite version currently is this right here. This uh, outer rubber piece, $3 at MTM, right? So you got quick disconnects are gonna be five, your nozzles are gonna be five. And also you have that option of buying the four pack for 16 bucks or the nozzles two for nine dollars. But like I said, the two for nine dollars, the best I can closest I could find to what I need was a 4.0 orifice. And that's too low a pressure, but actually pretty good for my final soap rinse. So I'm actually thinking I'm gonna use those. So I have so many different sizes going on here, it's ridiculous. So in the end, like five, five, you're at 10, you're at 13, plus seven shipping, you're at 20 bucks. And the piece that I mentioned earlier, they're two for nine on Amazon. So in all, you're at about $29. And you're at about the exact same quality as the one that's at Clean Garage for $29.99. I actually think this is better. So here's the other version, the 3D printed bottom with the screw on top. This is $7 at MTM. And it has the bolt on the inside. But we basically got the same quick disconnects, except this one has the uh, bolt on the outside with the female. It's the same price, uh, five bucks at MTM. Or two for nine, just like on Amazon. Same with the nozzle tip and all the assembly and the pipe. The pipe I couldn't find on Amazon anywhere. I had to go to Home Depot to get it. So you'd have to go to a brick and mortar store to pick that up. There's usually always a discount code out there for 10% off. It's like come back 10% or something like that. Uh, that you'll save 10%. Um, and if you were buying enough to make a couple of these, uh, the 25% off Labor Day sale or even maybe even that 10% would be enough to maybe save you enough to pay for all the shipping. So that's it. I hope everything I bought and everything I researched was be able to help you out in some way. If not, if you don't want to spend the money, you don't feel like dealing with putting it together and doing all that kind of stuff, you can purchase it. I think the best place to get it is Clean Dash Garage. I'll leave a link below. It's like $29.99. 
and then it's like $8.95, $9 shipping to where I am. It could be cheaper to where you are, just depending on geography and all that. Um, that winds up being like, you know, $38, $39, still a good price for uh, that piece. The one thing you gotta remember is that piece, the bolt is sticking out the bottom, just like my version that I like the least. The Asseps Garage one is the same way. On mine and my favorite version, the only thing sticking out is enough for the quick disconnect. So there's as very little as possible that if it shot off or did something that would be able to damage. Um, I don't like having any of that metal on the outside, um, but uh, it's up to you. So links will be below for everything that I could possibly think of. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. It's got the four wheel out again. <sighs> He's done with the four wheeler. Got the Jeep because I like so many different there they go again and you get different orifice sizes and uh, and you get different orifice size nozzle guards you have your a nozzle guard there's your nozzle I got no, I got a port and the reason it's like the reason it's like that is because this middle could not find a three pipe and they're, they're 4.99 per per they're 49 uh, so it,